Hello everyone, J-Man here, and today we're talking about another new exotic in Beyond Light, the Necrotic Grip Warlock Gauntlets. These are the thorn arms so you can damage combatants with melee attacks, which will inflict tick damage. Defeating a corrupted combatant spreads the effect and restores melee energy. I can picture this being huge in both PvE and PvP, especially if you pair it with the top tree Dawnblade and the ranged Celestial Fire melee. So we are under the assumption that you have completed the campaign and can tackle the legendary Lost Sector Concealed Void on Europa. This is located in the Asterian Abyss. If the legendary Lost Sector version is not available, make sure you run through the normal mode first to enable the higher levels of difficulty. I've also noticed that these legendary Lost Sectors are on some sort of daily rotation in terms of power level. For this Lost Sector, today it's currently listed at 1250 and not the 1280 version making it possible for me to complete. Currently, I'm at level 1230, so that makes it pretty feasible to accomplish. So taking a look at subclass weapons and gear, I'm using the top tree Dawnblade. Solar is going to help with some of the solar shielded enemies in the Lost Sector. The subclass is going to be offensive, which is going to help me do some extra damage. I'm using the forward path auto rifle, the Icolos SMG and the Anarchy. The Icolos and the Anarchy are going to help with arc damage. There's going to be a couple of uh, arc shielded captains in here that we need to take out. Moving on to the armor, we do have Grenade Launcher Ammo Finder on my helmet. That's going to help us get more ammunition for the Anarchy. I'm using Sunbracer, so if I do get a ranged melee with the Celestial Fire, that's going to temporarily give me infinite solar grenades. You can notice that I'm also wearing Overload Rounds for the Auto Rifle to pair with the Forward Path, and Anti-Barrier for the Icolos SMG. Those are the two champion types that we need to worry about in this activity. I'm also using the High Energy Fire, so if I'm charged with Light, that's some extra damage. Moving on to the chest, we have Grenade Launcher Reserves, more ammo for the Anarchy, and Protective Light, extra damage resistance. On the legs, pretty simple, straight to the point, two Grenade Launcher Scavs. And then for the class item, this is actually the most important, I'm using two new artifact mods, the Thermal Overload and Surge Eater. Here's how this works. You stun an Overload with your Solar Grenade, that's the Thermal Overload that's going to help you do that, and when you do stun a champion, Surge Eater is going to recharge that grenade ability. This is huge when you stun a champion, you basically have infinite grenades. You can throw your next grenade, the champion's gonna stun, do some damage, rinse and repeat. Let's get right into the Legendary Lost Sector and go over the strategy to beat it. So upon spawning, I do try to get up there quick with my Icarus Dash. The reason for this is I want to take out one of these smaller dregs of my Celestial Fire and get my infinite grenades before the champion loads in. I'm throwing them left, right, everywhere, center. The champion is going to eventually walk into the grenade and stun himself thanks to my mods. I'm going to get that grenade back and I can melt the overload. We can use a small window here for cover. There's going to be some shanks uh, with a larger solar shielded shank behind them. We want to use our grenade or melee to take out that shield before we can do some damage. Just make sure you take your time here, be careful, save your lives. If you have to pop a rift, do so. There's also two snipers on the right hand ledge here that we do need to worry about. Let's do some damage on them. And when you have some free cover, you can pop out. Use your Solar Grenade, two Anarchies, and then get back. That should be enough to take out that Heavy Shank. What we'll do here is we will wait for these Snipers to peek and take them out before we move on to the next section of the encounter. So two things to note when going into the next room. There's an Arc Captain to your right, a Barrier Champion to your left. I suggest popping a rift at this pillar and taking out the barrier champion first. If you could take out any adds beforehand, that's great. But what we're going to do is hit the uh, champion with the anarchy for some tick damage. He will then pop his anti-barrier shield. We'll use the Icolus SMG to uh, stun him and then finish off with the anarchy. So again, we're being careful. He does teleport. Try to uh, use your anarchy wisely. Tick damage. Switch to your SMG. You can pump two more Anarchies, and then finish them off. Once this barrier is down, we want to stay to the left-hand side and take out any remaining adds. Once those are out, then we can focus on the Arc Champion to the right. Or sorry, the Arc uh, Captain. Again, we want to use Sunbracers here as often as we can. It gives us 
basically infinite uh, grenades for a brief moment in time. Again, you want to use your Ikalos and your Anarchy to take down that Arc Shield. Sometimes he's pesky and hides behind there. Just play it patient. Make sure you reload your weapons when you're not using them, unlike me. And now we can take down this captain. Perfect. Now moving on to the next section, there's two things again to worry about. We have one more uh, solar shielded shank and we have an overload champion. What we want to do first is take out the uh, shank. So stay down on this bottom platform and take out these initial two dregs. Make sure Anarchy's reloaded. Push up, Solar Grenade, one Anarchy. It's okay if you die, because that's gonna be enough to take out this Shank. We're then gonna reset ourselves and go, go for the Overload Champion. There's also one uh, Sniper behind him that you do need to worry about. Uh, so we could try to take out the smaller ad first. Best to do it with your Celestial Fire to activate some Bracers, and then we go for the Champion. So you can see the Vandal, the Sniper is up there. You can poke at him to make him pop out. And then we use our Celestial Fire. Now we have Sun Bracers active. Again, our Solar Grenade here is gonna stun that champion. You can't even see him. You can keep chucking nades here. You then wanna pop some Anarchy shots. It's gonna start to do the tick damage. Throw more grenades to restun. And that's gonna be the end of this champion here. So for this next part here, there's going to be a bunch of close range melee enemies. What I do suggest is you wait for your Celestial Fire to come back so that you can use that to activate Sun Bracers, get some of your infinite grenades and just chuck them all over the place. So we'll wait for it to come back. Find an enemy to weaken with the Auto Rifle. Throw the Celestial Fire. And now infinite grenades. You can use these to clear the room. Watch to your right here, some do spawn behind you. They tend to like get behind you somehow. Don't forget that Icarus Dash, which is going to help you with uh, extra movement here, mobility. We can move to the next part. So on this bridge, you're going to see a whole bunch of Exploder Shanks. You can jump up and down behind this little ledge here. It's going to make it so that the Vandal and Overload Champion behind them can't shoot you. And they also start to like push up on you so that you can eventually just take them out. The other thing that you need to watch out for is when you jump over this bridge to the other side, more Shanks are going to spawn. So we can jump over, we can head back. Use the same strat, leverage our, uh, leverage our little ledge here, if you will. Let's take out these shanks one by one. What you want to try to do here is either save your melee or grenade so that you can use it to stun the champion. This takes care of the exploder shanks, and now we're going to move up. We actually need to wait for the Solar Grenade here so that we can stun the champion. There's our grenade. Stun. Anarchy. Throw another grenade for good measure. Easy mode. So we are now actually up to the boss. And the boss has a pretty interesting uh, little cheesy section that you can stand off to the side and do some damage. What I like to do is start off with my uh, super here because there's a whole bunch of adds that first spawn initially. And when you take them out, the uh, actual boss will spawn and we can throw a couple of extra blades at him. So once the boss is out and your super is done, it's really a matter of staying on this left hand side and doing some tick damage with the anarchy on the boss. You do have this obstacle that you can hide behind. There's a wall to your left. You can actually leave this room and go back where you came from if you're really worried about taking damage. But what I like to do when I get up here nice and quick and have you know a lot of revives left is play aggro. You know, you try to do as much damage as you can while you have the lives and the time. But really, uh, you know, that's all that's left is, you know, use your anarchy. Hopefully you have some heavy ammo left over. Play it safe in this corner. Do your tick damage with the, uh, you know, your, your weapons and your abilities. And you should uh, be able to defeat this lost sector. The last thing that I will call out before, you know, letting this run through is there is a servitor that's in the middle. He's always going to be there. If you kill him, another one respawns. So you might just have to play a patient when dealing with his shielding. 
the boss tends to like come over to this left hand side by himself often so that's why i like to chill out here um yeah and we'll just melt this boss So when you do finally take out the boss, I recommend taking out some of these uh, little ads here because you do still need to open up the chest. Similar to the last Legendary Lost Sector. Let's take some of these out. Again, play it safe. You have your Rift. You have your abilities. You can use your Icarus Dash to get here really quick. Open up your chest and you have a small chance at getting the Necrotic Grip Gauntlets. Hopefully after finding or after using this guide you found yours as well if you do have a moment to throw this video a like or comment it is much appreciated i also do have links to my other socials and my twitch live stream if you're interested in those as well thank you and i'll see you in the cosmodrome